హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద కోర్స్ కంప్యూటర్ నెట్వర్క్ బిసిఎస్ పార్వతి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సొసైటీ ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్ టుడే సెషన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ది ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ అండ్ డేటా లింక్ దిస్ ఈస్ కమ్స్ అండర్ ఫ్లో కంట్రోల్ ఫ్లో కంట్రోల్ మెకానిజం దట్ ఈస్ ఎస్ ద ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ సెషన్స్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ ఎర్ర కంట్రోల్ మెకానిజమ్ లైక్ ఎర్ర డిటెక్షన్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ది ఎర్ కరెక్షన్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ ఎర్ర డిటెక్షన్ హౌ టు డిటెక్ట్ ద ఎర్ర అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ఎర్ కరెక్షన్ హౌ టు కరెక్ట్ ద ఎర్ర యూజింగ్ ద హ్యామింగ్ కోడ్ ఆల్ వీ డిస్కస్డ్ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ సెషన్స్ నా వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద ఫ్లో కంట్రోల్ దట్ ఈస్ ద ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్ ఇన్ ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ ఇన్ ద ఓవర్ వ్యూ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఎలిమెంటరీ డేటా లింక్ ప్రోటోకాల్స్ లైక్ అన్రెస్ట్రిక్టెడ్ సింప్లెక్స్ ప్రోటోకాల్ ఇన్ దాట్ ఓన్లీ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ది వాట్ ఆర్ ద అడ్వాంటేజెస్ అండ్ డిస్అడ్వాంటేజెస్ ఆఫ్ unrestricted simplex protocol and next we are going to discussing about simplex stop and wait protocol in elementary data link protocol in that only we are going to find the advantages and disadvantages and next we are going to talking about the simplex protocol for the noisy channel these are also comes under elementary data link protocol so next we discuss advantages and disadvantages of simplex protocol for noisy channel these all comes under the what flow control mechanism only what is flow flow control first thing flow control is nothing but here is the sender here is the receiver whenever the sender is sending some particular message what is the speed of the sender what is the speed of the receiver sender speed as well as the receiver speed whenever the data is sending we have to focus on the speed also that is the flow of data how the data flow is going to be there between the sender and receiver that is nothing but the flow control for that only we are going to use the elementary data link protocols those are unrestricted next one simplex stop and wait protocol simplex protocol for the noisy channel is all we are going to discuss now in today's topic see first what is unrestricted simplex protocol here it is talking about the it is a hypothetical protocol at the same time the data is going to be transmitted is carried out only one direction whatever data is sending that is only one direction there is no here is the sender here is the receiver this is only one direction there is no data is coming from the receiver that is only one direction that is unrestricted simplex protocol unrestricted means what there is no restriction for sending the data but it is only one direction so the transmission that is dx and receiving these two are always ready and processing time can be ignored means always the sender and a sending sender is what sender for sending the data is always ready the sender is always ready for sending the data the receiver is always ready for receiving the data at the same time processing time is going to be ignored there is no processing time it can take their own time that is the that is also going to be ignored in simplex protocol because it is unrestricted no restrictions for processing also in this protocol infinite buffer space is going to be there so whenever the data is going to be sent from the sender to the receiver there infinite buffer space buffer is more what some storage means from next if i want to first i am going to sending the first frame so the second is going to be in buffer means after five one it is going to be date for sending the data that is buffer space infinite buffer space we can uh, store number of in buffer that is the infinite buffer space is available at the sender side as well as the receiver side and there is no errors occurring because what there is no restrictions because there is no errors that there is no damage of frames and there is no last of frames because it is unrestricted if we, whenever it want to send the data the sender is going to be send the data whenever the receiver wants to data it will receive the data that's why there is no damage of frames and there is no last of frames in unrestricted simplex protocol see here how the data is going to be sent here this is the sender this is the receiver so first sender is sending the frame 1 the receiver is received and frame 2 sending from the sender to the receiver and frame 3 sender is sending from the sender to the receiver a and b so like this the data is going to be sent from the sender to the receiver but it is only one direction at the same time what are the main things we discuss, we have to know about these unrestricted simplex protocol the assumptions are the data is transmitted is only one direction from sender to receiver only and both transmitting and receiving always to be ready at the same time processing time is going to be ignored here 
infinite buffer space is going to be available in the unrestricted simplex protocol. There is no chance of damaged frames. There is no last of like the frame. Suppose if this is the third frame, where there is no chance of damaged frames. At the same time, this protocol is consisting of two separate procedures. The sender procedure is different. Receiver procedure is going to be different. This all comes under the unrestricted simplex protocol. And what are the advantages here? Advantage is it is a simple protocol. At the same time, highly unrealistic because there is no rules and nothing, right? This is unrealistic. Unrestricted uh, means it is unrealistic. At the same time, what are the disadvantages here? It is mainly flooding. What is flooding here? Means the sender is sending the suppose flooding means me exactly in real time. What is exactly when the rain is coming? That time only where floods are going to be there means number of water is came at a time the water is coming. Uh, at a time that is nothing but the flooding, right? Here also sending the data means uh, over uh, oh, number of data is going to be sent from the sender to the receiver. That is the disadvantages of the unrestricted simplex protocol. So, here sender is sending that is the request. Here the receiver is received means that is the arrival. The frame 1, frame 2 like this we are going to send the data. This is about unrestricted protocol for sending the data. And the next one is what? A simplex stop and wait protocol. This is the second one. How to send the data using this particular protocol? Simplex stop and wait protocol. See here, it is for noiseless channel. Means whenever we are sending the data from the sender to the receiver, this is the channel. This is nothing but the communication medium channel, anything we can call it as a channel. So, this is the noiseless. There is no noise. Whenever sending data, there is no noise. There is the noiseless channel. It is provides unidirectional data. Unidirectional means here also only one direction without any error control facilities. That is the simplex stop and wait protocol. The receiver can process the receiver, um, the only process the received information at finite rate. These assumptions imply that transmitter cannot send the frames at faster than the receiver can process because receiver side is finite. Means receiver side is what is saying? It is received finite number because here receiver also giving some reply to the sender. It is a finite. That's why the transmitter means sender wanna, cannot send the faster the frames. The main problem is what here? How to prevent the sender from the flooding of the further receiver? So previously in an unrestricted protocol, what is the disadvantages? That is the flooding only, right? To that overcome that only we are going to use the simplex stop and wait protocol. So, to prevent that particular flooding, we are going to use the simplex stop and wait protocol. The general solution for this problem is the receiver sends some sort of feedback to the sender. So, receiver wants to send some feedback to the sender. See here, first here it is uh, sender, sender A is sending some request to the receiver. He is sending the frame 1. After coming to the receiver side, this frame the receiver also giving some acknowledgement to the sender. Yes, frame 1 is going to be received. Next, after receiving acknowledgement only, the sender is sending the next frame. That is frame 2. Again, after receiving the acknowledgement, yes, I received frame 2. I am ready for the frame 3. So, then only after receiving the acknowledgement 2 only, the receiver is sending the next frame. That is the frame 3. Like this, the process is going on in between sender and receiver. To overcome the flooding only, we are going to adding this acknowledgement. So, means receiver is sending some acknowledgement, some feedback to the sender. Yes, I, I received the frame 1. I, re, I am ready for the frame 2. Like that, the simplex stop and wait protocol is going to be worked. So, these are the assumptions. Main assumption is it is only one direction from the sender to receiver. It is Receiver has only finite buffer. Here it is having only finite buffer. There is no infinite buffer. That's why every time it is getting acknowledgement also. So, communication is error free. There is no error errors. At the same time, a receiver has finite processing speed. So, processing speed also here was finite. What are the main advantages here? So, simple reliable transmission. So, previously what it is unreliable, but here it is reliable because it is giving some acknowledgement to the receiver, sender to the rece receiver to the sender means I am also 
Frail one is sending from the sender to the receiver means receiver is giving some acknowledgement. Yes, I received frame one means some reliable communication is going on between the sender and receiver. That is the advantage here. Coming to the disadvantages, sender always waits for the acknowledgement. So, when the sender is sending the next frame, after receiving the acknowledgement, then only the sender is sending to the next frame. So, sender is always waits for the acknowledgement frame to the next frame. To want to send the next frame, it will wait for the acknowledgement. After receiving the acknowledgement only, it will send the next frame. If the acknowledgement frame gets corrupted, suppose whenever the data is sending, uh, sending means acknowledgement is receiving from the receiver to the sender, right? suppose if the acknowledgement is uh, not received from the receiver to the sender, if acknowledgement is going to be corrupted, the sender cannot perform anymore. Suppose here I am sending one more frame, frame 3 I am going to send, but uh, I did not receive the acknowledgement from the receiver. What it will understand uh, whenever the acknowledgement is received, then only it will send the next frame, right? If, if it is not received, means it will continue, it will not continue further. That is the disadvantages of the simplex stop and bit protocol. And next one is what? Next third one is simplex protocol for noisy channel. This is the third one in flow control, uh, flow control mechanism. Why we have to go for the simplex protocol? It is a for noisy channel. Previously, uh, previously is the stop and wait protocol that is the noiseless channel. This is noisy channel. How it is? See here. Advantage of simplex stop and wait protocol means what? It is the reliable transmission, right? Previously. So, what is the main disadvantage in a second one? That is the simplex stop and wait protocol. Sender is always waiting for the acknowledgement, right? To send the next frame. So, if the acknowledgement is corrupted, the sender cannot perform the anymore, right? So, to overcome these advantages, previous advantages, we are going to use the simplex protocol for noisy channel. Simplex protocol for noisy channel, we are going to use to overcome these problems. So, how it is going to be work here? Simplex protocol for noisy channel, see here. Whatever the data is going to be transferred, that is only one direction. Consider the separate sender and the receiver. Separate sender and receiver. The finite processing capacity and speed at the receiver since it is a noisy channel. If it is a noisy channel also, finite number of capacity of the sender and receiver at the same time, errors in the data frames or acknowledgement frames are going to be expected. Means acknowledgement also received from the receiver. Every frame has a unique sequence number. Means each and every frame is also having the sequence number. After frame has been transmitted, the timer is going to be started for a finite time. Means in previous two unrestricted protocol and simplex stop and wait protocol, we did not go for the timer. It is not talking about the timer. But coming to simplex stop and uh, simplex protocol for the NICE channel, it is talking about the timer. Means the timer is started for the finite time. Means for finite time only the time uh, we will transmit the frames. Before the timer expires, if the acknowledgement is not received, the frame gets uh, retransmitted. Suppose if I want to send the data frame one I sent. So, uh, I go for the 5 minutes timer. I waited till 5 minutes. If I received within the 5 minutes the acknowledgement, that is okay. I am going to send the next frame. I, I sent to frame 2 also, but I did not receive the, I did not receive this acknowledgement from the receiver. So, uh, it will wait 5 minutes, it will wait 5 minutes, but I did not receive the acknowledgement. What it will do? Again, it will send the frame 2 again, it retransmit the frame again. That is nothing but the simplex protocol for noisy channel. When the acknowledgement gets the corrupted, send data frames get damaged. How long the sender should wait to transmit the next frame is infinite. So, after 5 minutes, it won't receive means it will send the again that frame again. After receiving the acknowledgement, again it will go for the next frame. Like this, the data is going to be transmitted from the simplex protocol for noisy channel. So, so, here these are the assumptions. The data is only one direction, having the sender and receiver separate only. Final processing capacity speed at the receiver side. It is an IC channel at the same time data frames or acknowledgement frames are going to be expected. So, it is having sequence number means every frame 1 acknowledgement 1, frame 2 acknowledgement 2 like that. Here it is the numbering is there that is the sequence number. After each frame 
the timer is going to be started. Means I will wait only for the five minutes. After five minutes, if I did not receive the acknowledgement, I will retransmit the frame again. That is the condition. For that, we are going to use the timer. If the acknowledgement is not received, the frames gets retransmitted. That is the main point. When the acknowledgement gets corrupted, the sent frames are going to be corrupted. It will wait for the next frame in finite time. That is the assumptions of the Simplex protocol for the nice channel. These are the advantages. Advantages are handle the last of frames by using the timer. How we are going to identify here by in this process, how we are identifying the last frames by the timer only. Only I will wait for the 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, means we can take any time timer. Timer you can adjust means 1 minute after 1 minute after 1 any time. That is the timer. Next, coming to the disadvantages here. If the inter interval is too short, undeeded retransmission occurs. Suppose if it is 5 minutes, okay. If I go for the timer, only 30 seconds. But there may be delay in the receiver side, you can assume that. So, suppose I will wait only 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, if I did not receive the acknowledgement, acknowledgement from the receiver, again I am sending the, this is the frame 1, this is the ACK 1, right? So, this first frame is received after 30 seconds. So, uh, within the 30 seconds only I received, if I send the frame 2, but I did not the, receive the acknowledgement from the receiver, after 30 seconds that may, there may be chance of receiving the acknowledgement. But uh, after 30 seconds what, did, what we did here, again we send the frame 2 again. That is also one of the disadvantage and if it is too long bandwidth, it is wasted the sender waits too long before doing the retransmission. If it is take for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 30 minutes, that is also one of the disadvantages. So, these are the disadvantages, these are the advantages. So, this is about the simplex protocol for a noisy channel assumption. So, coming to the summary, today we discussed about elementary data link protocols, those are the unrestricted simplex protocol. What is the main thing here? There is no restriction. There is no restriction for sending and receiving the data. Both side that is infinite buffer only. No restriction for sending and receiving the data. And next we discussed simplex stop and wait protocol. What it will exactly start? The disadvantage here is what? Flooding. To overcome that we are going to use simplex stop and wait protocol. So simplex stop and wait protocol mainly talking about what? Here there is no acknowledgement. No acknowledgement. And coming to here whenever the sender is sending the data. The receiver also receiving uh, send some acknowledgement from the receiver. That is the advantage is here. So, what is the disadvantage is here? So, if the acknowledgement is not received from the receiver, if the acknowledgement is not received, so it will uh, it will not continue further. That is the disadvantage. To overcome that particular problem, we are going to use the simplex protocol for the noisy channel. What exactly it is? So. It, it is having the timer based on the timer only means it will wait only for particular timing period only after uh, if uh, in that particular period if it is not received that particular acknowledgement again it will retransmit that frame that is the advantage in the simplex protocol for the NASI channel. This is about elementary data link protocols in the flow control mechanism. Thank you.